It's always a great temptation to put too much going on in, in the eyes when it's not really there. So we use the really dark blue to get that down again. It's a bit larger on the end, but not so, not so much in the mirror. It's just got like a little, two little lines, that's all. And here. And it's right on the edge here. Yeah, now that's gone a bit too thin again. So we'll get that in again. This little bit in the corner is, is important, really. Why is it just a bit too thin? of that. So I'll put that in. Just a touch. See, it's just the merest, merest touch. Okay. Now, we've got to put more blue in his nose as well. Let's just concentrate on getting his ear down, I think. So, we've got a little bit there, that's there. Now we need a bit of this through there. We need that come in like that. And there's a little bit there. Right there. Okay. black streaks on this. That's a bit brighter here, you see. It's much it needs to be a bit brighter. So we use our Caran Dash pencil here. Then we'll line it up with a bit of um, white. Just pressing a bit harder to get that light in there. see a little bit of something going through there and knock it back and there's something in there you can just see there it, I can see my bits here but you probably can't see them now but they're still they're still here They're a bit light, but we can go over these with the orange, I think, the dark orange, the orangey red. They're all done ready. A little silvery in there. We've got like a little V here.
this up right here. Knock it back. Now let's get this edge done, I think. Oh yeah. Now we're going over the, you know, that rusty stick that we used. Just looking very closely at the direction of hairs here. It's actually coming out quite, quite a bit. silvery. So we've got these. So it's all nice and furry looking. There's a nice light, yeah. Got that line there. It's a bit lighter in here. And there's a nice line here. And another one there. And some little bits. the shine here but just be careful not to go over the colours that you want to keep here because we've already done quite a few colours in here and we can keep all these so just go a bit more carefully here because it would be a shame to lose a lot of what you've done it's actually looking quite good Just tap it. Just tap it. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's got some lines going through at that black bit there. Um, they've got lines going through there. And through those. tap it on. Right, now get some black over that. This is darker here. So we're just kind of very, very lightly going over the top of these bits here. Very lightly. Because we want them to be apparent but not, not overly not overly so. That 
needs to come out of that now. He's coming out of the right bits here. That needs to be a bit more orange. Let's get an orange colour over that. Yeah, look. Just go over it very gently. we've lost that we're gonna go back over it with this because we need to make sure that shows up there it's bitty but it is rusty Let's get the orange going. We don't need much more warmth and fiery bits in here. Some warmth in there. And then through here. Every now and again you'll get this lovely, lovely orange. It's not, it's not uniform. The hair direction changes up here to coming out more and then it goes down towards that bit there. Put some black on and then we'll finish off with the white shine. So I'm just looking at the patches, try not to get too bogged down in any detail here. Just looking at patches, patches of colour. I'm just kind of going around what, what I think should be, have a bit more white on it. And then when we put our white on it, it will really look very effective. And then there's some black bits in the uh, yeah. ear. Every now and again. Masses of colour in his ears, isn't he? All right, we need some more gold in here to brighten this up a little bit behind this black here and then we'll put the orange over that that's better this needs to be a bit lighter on the end here so go into those golden bits again And this is nice and light here. Now we can put the white under that. That's okay as it is there. So I don't want to go over all the colours and blend them all in. I want them to I want them to actually show. Right. Now we'll put 
put some orange over these bits. some white on, get some shine on there. So we're going to start here. Just very light. Just put a few lines together where you can see the shine. Some little bits of flecks of white here and there that could be lighter, you see. And we'll lighten that a bit there and this up here. That could go a little bit lighter as well. Um, got to be careful not to overdo this because it won't look so good if you overdo it. Be very careful. Not, it's brighter, but it's not so bright. Then tap it all back. There. That's it. I need to put a little bit more white there. I think that's it. Okay. We'll leave that there, I think, for now. We were going to make this a bit lighter, weren't we, here? That's right. Let's get some light, lightness in there. Not, don't press too hard. We just want to lighten up that, that uh, kind of a, a gingery, very light gingery colour. Just lightening up that really. We're not adding extra shine here really. It's just lightening up the ginger. And we've got a couple of little lines. Should be lighter in there. Okay. So when you've done the last bits, you don't really need to go doing too much to it. Don't tap it that back again. Once you put the really light bits on that you really want to show up, you just leave them. Just looking at patches of colour here. They're a bit whiter on the end there. And then there's a little bit of this tufts of white there that we did put in at one time but they've got lost. And I probably did it with the other white, which isn't as vibrant as this. This is fantastic. It's white. I 
I could just see a darkness through there. It's kind of grey look to it there. So we'll just put these in very, very gently, these blacks, just to give it that. And then we'll just do that with it, just to kind of make that greyness in there. And if it goes too dark, just put the white over it and make grey. That's it. That's it. Then we've got a little line that comes round there and it's all separated. We've got a line here that's nice and light and a bit over here. Now we need to pay attention to this bit here, all these shaggy bits there. So we want black for that and we want the hard black and we want it pretty sharp so I'll just make a little point on the end. Just differentiating this bit going through here because um, we've got a dark bit in there and that'll separate it up. bits here. That's far too, too sharp there. Just going around that little white bit above his eye to make that. That actually needs to be lower, it needs to come down here. So we could put that in after. Just need to get the black in first. And then just kind of go over this, make it look streaky. That's all you need to do, really. Over this way, I've got some hairs coming over that way. Now, this, this bit here is it's quite strong, but we've got lots of little hairs going on with that back. 